the week does not look good. We're going to get some rain all the rest of the week. There's Bambi. Say hi, Bambi. She's so laid back. And of course, can't get the camera on the pebbles because she is not cooperating. And we're going to go see how my raspberry hibiscus is doing. And we got some new, new blooms. Look at that. Probably took me about two years. In the first year, it only bloomed a couple of them, and it wouldn't, it wouldn't rebloom. I don't know what the problem was. That's just a beautiful plant, and you can eat it. Actually, it tastes like raspberry. I haven't tried that though, but uh, and any suggestions for my videos and. Um, this is the Corgi Adventures, and I do not have the GoPro camera yet. Look at Pebble laying in the dirt, and look how look how dirty she is. Oh my God, Pebble! I'll show you why Pebbles is like that. I'll show you what she likes to do in a minute with the garden hose. Oh, it's a very nice day. You can hear a rooster in the background. My neighbor's got some chickens. Maybe I'll get that turned on, this water wheel. And do on the third video, we'll show you how that water wheel looks like in motion. And of course, that's the famous, infamous bird feeder, bird feeder Ferris wheel. I showed you that in my first video. It looks so much better. video still doesn't, quality is obviously questionable if you saw my first video. And there's Pebble. <laughs> She's got a dirty, dirty, dirty face. But I'll show you why Pebbles is so dirty. This is the garden hose. Pebbles' is favorite toy. And you spray the water and she likes to get she likes to get the water, and she chases the water. I'm trying to get it on here. It's hard with one person, and but you can see what she's doing. She likes chasing. She likes chasing the water. Let's see if I can get her to chase. It. There she goes. And then she'll lay in the dirt. There she is. She likes to eat the water. <laughs> that will be a trip. You are to a Corgi Adventures Day 2 test video. Now this is an old camera. This is a, oh, let's see what kind of camera this is. I think it's a Pantera, Pentax, Pentax from like 2002. So there goes the Corgis. They see something, my neighbor might be coming outside or their dog. But um, the corgis come running off, and they're gone. So here's my yard again, but my Anirondack chair I made, and the corgis are over there. Come on, Pebbles. Come on, Yogi. And they're not coming when I call them, of course, because I'm on the video. I'm also going to have a golf cart that I'm going to take or may not take on my RV travels. I need some thought process from you guys if I should take the golf cart. In a trailer, of course, pulling behind the Class A RV. And it's got a couple spare tires, a nice golf cart. And, you know, works good. It's got LED lights. And that's right now how I get around, because I'm not a slave to the man, more or less. That means I don't own a car. So I take the golf cart to the grocery store in Florida, of course. You can do that. It's not totally legal, but I've been getting away with it, knock on wood. And the corgis are back. There's Yogi. Come here, Yogi. Can you do a high five? High five.
Good boy. High five. Good boy. High five. And he can shoot. You can shoot him. He plays dead. High five. High five, Yogi. Hey. High five. Yogi, high five. High five. Yeah, boy. So I got all the corgis here now. All at my feet. They're a great, great dog to have. And they're great friends of mine. And I love them. Love them to death. Yogi and Pebble, both two. Look at the back of their head. That yellow mark, that white mark on their... That's Yogi. And then look at Pebble. She's got the same mark as her father. And they're almost identical. Sometimes I wake up in the morning and I don't know which one's which until I get my eyes get focused. Yogi's a little thinner. But Pebble's a little bit wider. So thanks for watching my first video. This is David in part of the Corgi Adventure. This is a workbench I workbench. This is a bench I made out of a pallet long ago. It did not survive. Well, it's been made about two years ago, I guess, so. So I make things out of wood, obviously, so. Here's some flowers I rescued. And these trees I planted, oh God, a year and a half ago, they were only four feet tall. Take a look at this tree. That's gotta be like, you know, 25 feet tall. And just a year and a half ago, it was only four feet high. High as that fence. All these trees. I don't know the name of them. If anybody knows the name of these trees, please tell me. I forgot what the name is. And those are my Christmas palms I had planted. Those have been there a couple years, and they were almost that big. Uh, maybe a couple feet shorter out there past the fence line. And all these other bushes, of course. And there's Pebble digging in the dirt. Oh, my God. Look at that face. <laughs> oh my god. The thing about corgis is their coat stays really clean because they have two coats, so even though she gets all <coughs> muddy like that. <laughs> Come on out of here, Pebbles. Even though she gets all muddy like that. There she is. What a pretty girl. Um when they dry off they shake off and don't seem to bring a lot of the dirt in the house. Well, so you get an idea of what I look like. I'm just going to turn the camera around when I get into the shade here. And believe me, I'm not fancy and shaved up or anything today. So this is Monday, I believe. But so let's see if I can turn this around. Here. Let's get a look at myself here. Oh, there I am. I don't know if you can see me. But I'm David. And we're doing the Corgi Adventures. Because we're going to go RVing full time. I sold my house sold my car and I'm gonna do class A R V with the corgis that are running all around. Watch my YouTube video, The Corgi Adventures. Thank you very much for Chris and G. Um, Chris and G travels. They've been uh, writing back to me now, giving me encouragement and uh, I also watch um, the other guy too. Oh my god I'm gonna forget his name right now in this video. I'm gonna get all embarrassed. Um, Pneumatic Fanatic. Now he hasn't written me back yet, but I've been watching his videos too. Both very good videos, and I, I like them a lot. I've been watching for about a year now, and this trip has been planned over a year. So, um, I think it was, uh, let's see, what, October 3rd I listed my house. I actually got a contract on it two weeks later, so now it's the first couple weeks of November. So the closing on my house, which it's not a you know beautiful house or anything, but it's a nice house and it's paid for. So basically, what that means is I sold my house. I'm under contract, and in late December it closes. So that's when I can go RV shopping, and I'm going to take you guys along with me when I'm RV shopping. So you get to see me pick out the RV. You're going to see the corgis get introduced to the RV, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So. I may look not, you know, shaved up, and I clean up pretty good when I want to be, but this was a spur of the moment, video number two, test video number two, with the Corgis, and the Corgis Adventures, we haven't started on the road yet, but now you're going to get an idea of what they're like, and 
you get to meet me a little bit. My name is David, so have a good day, and thank you very much for watching, and stay tuned for test video number three after this one. Thank you. Have a good day, everybody. God bless.